Television awards are just around the corner. What sort of thing can we expect? It's going to be an absolutely brilliant night. We're back at the Palladium, which feels to be the right home for the Television Awards. We've got Graham Norton hosting again for the third time, and he's always fabulous, so I'm very excited about that. And it's my tenth Television Awards, so it takes a lot to get me excited, but I'm very excited about that. It'll be a star-studded event. Big sparkling show, big red carpet, wonderful list of presenters this year, so many, um, including Joanna Lumley, including Paul Martin, John Hurt... Um, Alan Dale um, from Australia, two stars of the American series Heroes. I think this year it is a fantastic mix of programmes from different channels, from past nominees, a lot of first-time nominees. It's a great mix. We have Cranford in there with three nominations, plus a nomination for the Sky Plus Audience Award. So there's going to be a big battle there against all the other people it's nominated against. Um, We have lovely things like Judi Dench receiving her 24th nomination uh, for her performance in Cranford. And she's up against her co-star from Cranford, Eileen Atkins, who I think is a third-time nominee and first one many, many years ago, so it's great to see her back. Probably one of the biggest battles is for entertainment programme, and that's between Strictly Come Dancing and Britain's Got Talent. It's the third consecutive nomination for Strictly Come Dancing and then a first time for Britain's Got Talent. They're both such strong, successful shows. But equally, they're against Have I Got News For You, which and its nominations runs into the 20s, so it's going to be an interesting battle, that one. And there's the sport category? Well, I think it's an interesting mix this year because obviously you've got Wimbledon that hasn't been nominated, I don't think, since I think it was 76 when Borg beat McEnroe in the final. And that really puts it into context about how long ago it was. And then you've got last year's winner, the Formula One, um, Rugby World Cup is in there, the boat race as well. So all very different sports. But I think in the UK we present sport really well. So this is a good mix of the very best of what we've seen last year. Are there any surprises in uh, this year's nominations? I don't think I'm ever surprised because I do th- genuinely think that the very best comes through. There's always some interesting stories, though. Last year, both Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant were nominated. Uh, Ricky won. He couldn't be there, so Stephen very kindly went up and accepted the award on his behalf. This year, Stephen is nominated and Ricky isn't, so it'll be interesting to see if Stephen is up there in his own right. Now, of course, this year it's not just the TV show on BBC One, it's also a whole load of online stuff as well. The online content's very exciting. We're we're on the red carpet interviewing everybody as they arrive, all the stars, and then from 6 o'clock that content will be live on our website, which will be two hours before the BBC broadcast, which is, you know, the first, first time we've ever done that. We will then have a camera backstage getting the first reactions from the winners when they, when they win their awards. What do you think it means to win a BAFTA? I think it must be amazing. I mean, I've never won one. I would love to win one, but it's the absolute gold standard. It's the one that practitioners really want to win, and I think what makes it extra special is that that gold mask is voted for by your peers, by your contemporaries, people who may or may not have worked with you but really admire your work. 